Hi everyone and welcome to part 3 of the Xanar tutorial series. In this video, I'll show you how we will create the endpoints to the Xanar service that we already created in the previous part. So let's start by clicking on the API and Cloud Services section and we can click on the Xanar service and add an endpoint. We'll set up the sign up endpoint first. So I can name it sign up. This would be a post endpoint because we are sending data to the server. Uh, we don't need to create roles for this one, so we can X out of that and then you go to paths and parameters and then you can get the sign up path from here. You can either copy this or just type it out. And then we have the path here. Now for the body, we can go to the documentation section and get the structure from there or you can type it as well basically this is the structure we will be sending we are sending three three parts of information to the server uh, the name email and password and we have a temporary variable set up for them so we're calling them sign up name sign up email and sign up password so my sign up name would be graphic my email would be Traffic at traffic.com and my password would be one two three four five six seven eight with a capital P and that's all the information we needed. Now we can test this endpoint. There we go. So we were able to sign up successfully and they returned an authentication token back from Xano. So this is how the regular workflow is. Uh, once you sign up, the Xano backend will send you back an auth token. So we can click on save and this endpoint will be saved. Now we will create the login endpoint, which is quite similar as the sign up endpoint. So again, it would be post, uh, no object rules for this one either. And go to Xano and select path from here it's basically the same path and apart from sign up we have login here so we can paste it here the body structure would be similar as well so I can just use the one that we used in sign up but we don't need to send name here we only need email and password and then in the email section I would need to sign up with the email account that we used to sign up with Otherwise, it will return that the email address doesn't exist. So it was drafted at drafted.com. I think I left an F out here. And then the password was 1234578 with a P. And if everything is correct, I can test this. And Xano would return an auth token again. And we can save this endpoint. So we have created the login and the sign up endpoints here. Uh, we will create a me endpoint as well, but we will do that at a later stage. So I'll see you in the part four to show you how we would connect these endpoints to our screens. See you then, bye-bye. 